Hey everybody, this is Petey Boo playing uh, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, and last time, I believe we um, finished the fourth dungeon, we died a couple times during the dungeon, but that's okay. It's okay to die sometimes, because... I don't know why. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is... Remember that Mobley King guy who was always causing us trouble? Well, I forgot to face him before the fourth dungeon, so let's go face him now. He'll be like, So the pesky kid has come, I won't let you stand up. So we're gonna avoid you, and actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're we have to go around this way. Because there's a flag here. I jumped over the flag, even though I was nowhere near the height needed to do that, because it's, the perspective is all screwed up. But, um... Anyway, what we want to do is go here and it says, Now entry my domain, great moblin, that thing's going to throw a bomb at me, but it's going to be completely ineffectual as soon as I go around here. And he should be here, up here, but he is obviously not going to be because he's like, And I noticed that kid coming up somehow, so I'm going to go into my fortress stronghold. And there's going to be a couple moblins here, but you know, they're pretty much ineffectual at this point. We're gonna go in here and it's gonna be like, So the pesky kid has come. I won't let you stand up to me anymore. This time victory shall be mine. And I think the battle's gonna be pretty much the same as in ages, except that he's gonna be moving around and you won't have people throwing bombs at you. Boom, whatever. He's really not that hard. Oops. Although I'm an idiot. Boom. Bomb. Bomb. And you can't beat me. I cannot be defeated as long as I don't drop my bomb behind me and start a fire. Oh man. I wonder what that could be. Ah, uh, ah, uh, look. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, he started a fire by dro- Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's not good. That is not good. How, how could this child defeat me? I, I remember this. I shall get my revenge! And then he runs off. And you get a piece of R. Yeah, it's the third one. Okay, cool. So, with that, his uh, keep is completely destroyed. See, look. Rubble everywhere. All oh, sad cannon is sad. Uh, I guess we didn't need those gale seeds, because we need to go right here. Cool. And these, there's this woman here. I don't think it was there before. So he's quiet lately. What happened? I don't know. Shouldn't be too quiet because because look, these people are in here and they're like, uh, let me talk to you. Wee, my great lair is in ruins. I have to start from scratch. Why did this happen to me? We hmm, the poor great mop, having to make bombs here. We will overcome those troubles to create a new tomorrow. There's something fun you can do. Um, throw a bomb there. I think. Um, uh, there we go. And the entire house is destroyed. Isn't that fun? And you see them escaping, blah, blah, blah. Now, I think if you, you know, warp away. And replenish your seeds. If you warp back, the uh, house should be there again now. Maybe you have to wait a while. Let me see if warping somewhere else will work. Alright, I guess you just have to wait a while because it's not coming back. Well, anyway, that that's fun to do. Uh, they'll say something when you go back, and, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, since last time we beat the fourth dungeon, I guess it's time to go on to the fifth dungeon. And, of course, the fifth dungeon is rather close to the place where I have teleported to, because that makes perfect sense. Okay. So, what do you want to do? I'm going to spin attack that. And also, um... Oh yeah, there's one other thing we can do while we wait here. If we change the season to summer, oops, 
change the season to summer, and kill this Akurok, and then move on this way. If we go back to where the first dungeon was, we have all this water here, but the water is not important, it's the stuff that is uncovered in summer that's important. If we go down here, there's this golden rope guy, and be like, if you want true power, then slay the four golden beasts that roam the land, and I shall grant my power to you. So far, you have slain zero. So basically, there are four uh, golden beasts, uh, one of four different enemy types, uh, I forget which ones they are. I know there's an Octorok, I know there's an Iron Knuckle, I know there's a Lionel, and I forget what the last one is, but um, anyway, there's four of those. They appear one in each season at uh, specific points on the map, and you know, eventually you just gotta find them all and kill them all, and if you get all four, you get a special prize. I'll be doing that some other time. What's in here? Oh, you get the square jewel. I don't think that's there in a uh, non-linked game, but I'm not sure. And that chest, I believe, is a Gasha Seed or uh, something, I don't know. Uh, this needs to not be summer, actually. I'm gonna change it back to, I guess, I guess fall, since we get, got fall and haven't really used it yet. So, and because fall is the next season, I'm not being lazy, but I'm just saying. Boom, boom. Okay, so. Hmm, come on. Yeah, I can very easily just go here, I guess. Okay, hey little guy, how are you? Ow, where'd that guy come from? Eh, eh. Hmm. Hey, there's that portal we were at. And, okay, so this needs to be summer again. So let's, uh, let's go change it to summer. And see what's down those, uh, things there, those stairs. I need to stop calling things things, even though they're obviously something else. Okay, so. Got some flowers in the spring, but they're growing in the summer because heat kills. See, there's a rock there. Wonder what could be in the rock. I don't know what could be in the rock. But let's go find out what's under the rock. There's some water here. It's pretty useless. But, uh, yeah, that, that's fine. It's useless, I guess. Okay, so... There's a little guy here. He's gonna die. We're gonna go down the stairs. And we're gonna go down these stairs. Ow, ow. And you get a piece of heart. Yay, that's the fourth one. So now I have gotten another heart container. Hooray! Uh, yeah, didn't do that. Okay, so... That is... What is that? Ten heart containers now? That's pretty good. That's uh, ten more than we had before I started this game, I guess. Okay, so, enough dilly-dallying around, we're actually going to do something now. I don't know what we're going to do, though. It's unfortunate. But, most likely it's going to have something to do with killing these things again, because I know they're going to get in my way. And, hey, heart. And I'm just going to kill you. There you go. Okay, so we want to change it back to, I killed him rather fast. Do I have, yeah, I have the cursor equipped still. Okay, so, there, it's fall, got some things, see, doesn't affect, uh, there's a Gasha seed planting thing there, I'm not gonna use it because it's pretty useless, but we need to be all of them because of this, so, eh, 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 can't pick up mushrooms while there's another mushroom active for some reason, but here we go, level 5, Unicorn's Cave, that was quick, wasn't it? So what's over here, what's over here, there's a Moldorm. Mini Moldorm. He takes a lot of hits to kill. Eight. We can't do anything there yet. But what we can do is kill all these things, get a bunch of hearts, and more Moldorms. Isn't that nice? Okay, come on, guys. Uh, I think I gotta kill all these guys, though. Oh, come on. Eh. I'm gonna push you off the ledge. I'm gonna push you off the ledge, too, but you don't seem to want to go in off the ledge thing, place. But, uh, I can also spin attack you and you can die. I'm gonna push you. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna push you off the ledge. Come on. Push off the ledge. There you go. And that will open this door here. And in this door is one of the more annoying chests to get, so I'm just gonna push against the wall. And. Well, let's see if this will work. Okay. Yes, it does. Except that I kind of fell off. Man. 
Okay, that was easy enough. Hey, I got the compass. I don't want to use it to track my position. I want to use it to not track my position. No, that didn't work. Okay, so. We got the compass right away. That's pretty cool. I think up here is something we can't do yet. Yep, there's a giant N. What could the N stand for? Who knows? But, we'll find out later. It does. Now we have to deal with these stupid tech types. Eh, 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 you're dead. Isn't that nice? Uh, okay, so, right here is a bunch of, uh, huh, I kind of jumped through that guy, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I wonder what this, I, I forget this, how this works, this is sort of a confusing place. It's got a key though, that's pretty cool. Can I push one of these blocks? Probably not, that would be too easy. Nah, I can't. Hey guy, you're gonna give me a heart, maybe? Yep, there you go. Thank you for that heart, Mr. I don't know what you are, gel? Okay. Yeah, man. Well, that guy just took my heart away. Hmm. That's a suspicious thing. Okay, so I can't do anything here yet because there's a giant S block. What is with these N's and S's? There's nothing that those two could, re could refer to in conjunction with each other. No siree. But, oh, all the guys. Hey, Joe. You're dead. No, no, you're not. Now you are. Alright. See, when things split into two, they are not dead. Uh, well, there's an iron knuckle guy there. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Hmm. I dropped another end ball, though. Can I go in here? No. Hmm, what am I supposed to do? Can't push that. I forget what I'm supposed to do. I do have a key, so I can, if need be, go and go to a place where there needs to be a key. Ah, I want that heart. I want that heart, Mr. Guy. Oh, there's a chest right there, isn't that nice? So let's go this way. And... Ah, there's a stairway. That's pretty cool. In the stairway, there's falling fire. That's cool. There's also a thwomp. One-eyed thwomp. Uh, okay, I forget which way. I think we want to get. Oops. I think we want to continue down first and then go up later. Anyway. So we'll do that. See what happens. Oh, this. This. Oh. Wow. You know that that was kind of unfair though. The two that and. The two that fired with an impossible to dodge array, so that's nice and all. So I think these two, yeah, they go in opposite directions. So I'm gonna do this, and that, and then there you go. Pretty cool. But now there's Gibdo, and they are not affected by your sword. Well, they are affected by your sword, but they're not pushed back, which is unfortunate because they take a whole lot of hits to kill, and I could be using the Gale Seeds, I realize that, but I'm not for some reason. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so I'm down to one health. I'm probably going to die, especially if I don't get any health from these remaining pots. There are not a lot of fairies in this game, I have noticed. There were plenty in that other game I was playing, uh, ages. Hmm. Die. Oh my god, 100 rupees, I bet you're thrilled. Yes, I'm thrilled to waste 87 rupees, or however many I wasted. It just fills me with glee to waste money. So what's in here? What is in here? There's more iron guys. I'm going to, in fact, warp them away. Oh, can't do that. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Come oh, on, die. Stop getting away from me. You're gonna die. Eh, there you go. Eh, eh, come on. Face away from me. There you go. What did that do? I don't know. I don't know what it did. What do you have to say? Recall the order you slay the knights in. Knights? Knights. 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 Ah, this. Oh yeah, I remember this puzzle. I remember this puzzle. 
What do you want to do? Whoops. Whoops. So. Okay. And. Oh, 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 fairy, 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 fairy. So, you don't necessarily need to kill them in the order you awaken them, but it is make it it does make it a bunch easier to remember. Man, they do a lot of damage. Well, I'll be back in that room in a little bit, I suppose. Uh... Okay, so I'm back here. What can I do to make this a bit easier? Maybe I can use... Gale Seeds. Probably not, though. Let's see. Nope. Okay, so basically, I just want to stay in a corner and wait for it to come near me. Okay. That's not that bad. It's just annoying when there's more than one of them, of course. Because, well, there's more than one of them. Okay, so... See, it's not that hard. It's just... They just do a lot of damage, and if you get caught, well, you're kind of screwed. This one shouldn't be that hard. Until it hits me. How much damage does that do? Hey, so yeah, you want to open the chest in the right order, you get a rupee, then you get some bombs, then you get some ember seeds, and then you get a small key. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty fun. Um, and... Oh uh, yeah, there's still one more place I want to go before stopping, so... Let's go there. Uh, go on. Please say there's more help here. No, okay, whatever. I guess I'm taking this pot with me. Uh, I have two, uh... Two, uh, keys. Yeah, this room is really just not fair at all, because half the time, the fire just... Ugh. 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 It pretty much... Ugh. And also, it fires in ways that you can't possibly avoid, so... Yeah. Oh, come on. There you go. I can jump further with the Pegasus Seeds, but I can't jump higher with anything. Okay, so... Yeah, here I kinda wanna kill things and also get some health back, maybe, if possible. Kill you, come on. Whatever, you're not gonna give me health, I know it. I know you're not gonna give me health. No, oh, there's a lot of things to do here, I think. Oh, whatever. It'll just be a little longer episode. Yay! Hey. Although, with these guys, I think we can still shoot them with fire and they will die immediately even though they're flying, so... Yay. Eh. 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 Whatever. Whoa! Hi, I was swimming and then I wasn't, suddenly. Whatever. Let's go in here. Uh-oh. We're locked in. And there's an N. Whatever shall- Come on, really? Really? I had to spin attack. Die, please. But what's in here? Da -na -na -na! You got the magnetic gloves. Their magnetic might attracts and repels. Press the button to reverse polarity and also to use them. So, starts out southernly. Because that's what magnets are. That's what the S and N stood for. What are the odds? You can attract, you can repel, and then you can attract again. And I believe it works across the entire, um... The entire room, which is much unlike an actual magnet, which would eventually, uh, weaken in power over distance. But, you know, artistic liability, or not, uh, license, that's the word I'm thinking of. Artistic license. Okay, so these guys are just curses, so I, won't, I don't think I'll get hurt by them, but I will lose my ability to use a sword. These guys, I keep forgetting that I can just do that, and they'll turn into a bone-throwing guy, and then jump into the cliff, or off the cliff. So yeah. So I'm just gonna do that, and look, he'll kill himself. Isn't that amazing? And with that, you get the dungeon map! Yay! And I guess with that... That will be all for today, um, this has been Petey Boo playing Legend of Zelda Work of Seasons, and I guess next time, we'll continue this trek, as I've been using the word for the past however many episodes, through the fifth dungeon. Goodbye, see you all, bye, 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 bye.